Hi everybody and welcome back to the Going For It Sim Studio. I have been playing exclusively on my About Golf Simulator for a little over a year and a half now because unfortunately my one year challenge is gonna get extended to what's gonna end up being two years because of an injury that I had sustained that was accumulation of a lot of things outside of golf and out of my control. Now, what that has actually done is built an even more amazing story and my journey into learning golf exclusively on an indoor golf simulator. It's also driven me so deep into the golf simulator world that I have now formed opinions on what I think the golf simulator world can kind of change direction towards to really harness the power of what these simulators truly can become for the game of golf. A level of accessibility and introduction to the game that is simply unseen. A level of training aid to make every golfer a much better player when they do go outside and bringing in an entirely new level of fun into not only training, but just going out and playing around with some buddies and having a really good time. So let's hear about all the things that I think feature and functionality wise can really set this golf simulator industry on a really, really good path. So I have had one of the coolest experiences along my journey to learn golf only on an indoor simulator and then go outside and attempt to break 80. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, an injury has set me back and unfortunately has taken me out the entire planes, outdoor playing season here in Bend, Oregon. And it's gonna end up being a two-year challenge instead of a one-year challenge. But that's quite all right because what I've really done is just learned to love everything that is golf simulator. I've also had a lot of conversations with people that are just your average golfer to be able to hear their thoughts, to be able to see their reaction when they get into a very good golf simulator like the About Golf Sim and how it completely changes their mindset on the possibilities of what can be done through this wonderful technology. I would absolutely love to see in on-course practice mode. How cool would it be if you could pick any hole on any course you want that's available on your sim, you're able to say, hey, I really need to practice shots between 100 and 75 yards. And it auto drops a ball somewhere and you get to pick your boundaries, whether you're in the rough a little bit or in the fairway only, whatever. Auto drops a ball and you hit that shot to a flag stick onto the green, if that's what you're doing. And then after that shot, you pick the number you want to do and then say you drops you to another place. And this time you're short-sighted and the pin's right up close to the edge and you have to find a way to get as close as you can. And again, you get to hit that shot as many times as you'd like. But what you're doing is you're auto training your feel at the distance it gives you. Because I could sit there at 75 yards and I could hit balls over and over and over and eventually get the feel and be like, all right, I've got 75 yards down, but then you lose it, you know? And I think in golf, you're never gonna have that perfect 75 yard shot that you're gonna want very often. So if you can have the ability to change your distances on the fly just by practicing it, I think that's gonna make you a much better golfer. And it's gonna be a heck of a lot of fun because you're not sitting on a range hitting to one flag stick over and over and over and over and you just get bored because it's, it's pretty mundane after a certain amount of time. Another feature that I think would be a lot of fun and really kind of take that power of a simulator and drive home the ability to have fun and actually learn the game of golf is a caddy slash course management functionality that utilizes your data and as you play the round, it's not just hit a ball, hit a ball, hit the end of the green, go to the next hole and just hit, hit, hit. But it's a learning environment. As you go through the range on all your clubs, the system knows your dispersion patterns, 
They know what distance each club goes. So as you line up, it's going to say, okay, here's your dispersion pattern. And you can see it on the screen of which club you choose. So then you're able to look at it and move it around and say, okay, if my dispersion pattern looks like this, I've got trouble over here, I've got a bunker down here, and the hole's over here, you're able to move that dispersion and look at the hole and go, okay, here's where I'm gonna be able to shoot to give my best chance at getting on the green just in case I were to have an errant shot. I think that's a really good way to learn how you play the game of golf. And then when it comes to the course management aspect, how cool would it be that after you hit a shot onto the fairway, you get multiple options that you can, that the game can show you. The software can say, hey, the safest shot for you based on your data is to hit this shot. And it shows it to you. You see the straight shot because, hey, you can't hit a draw yet. You haven't shown the software that you can comfortably hit a draw. So this is where you need to hit it. And this is what your dispersion pattern looks like. And then you can have an option of, you wanna be a little bit more aggressive. So you take a look at that and it says, hey, this is how aggressive I think you could possibly get with your ability on this hole for this shot. And it shows you exactly what club and what type of shot to hit. That would be so much fun. It just changes it because that's all stuff you can't do on the course. So why not harness this power that we have in a simulator and be able to learn the game of golf and course management while we're at it. I just think that would be a great way to utilize probably a little bit of artificial intelligence. Everybody loves the AI, right? A fun aspect that I would love to see is live weather. I would love it if instead of having to set up a course I wanted to play and all the weather aspects, every time I wanna play, I could select a button that says, give me the live weather right now at Pebble Beach. And it auto changes those conditions. It's gonna set the, the time of day, obviously. It's gonna set the wind direction and speed. If it's been raining, it's gonna set the fairways and greens. And maybe even someday there's a way to tell where the pins are. I mean, all that would just be, I think it would be super fun. I think it would be really, really cool to just have it auto go. And yeah, and if you're playing at night or really early in the morning, it can auto set to maybe the day before or what the weather is supposed to be that day, just so obviously you're not playing at nighttime. So you could do St. Andrews in the middle of winter in the worst conditions possible, right? I think it would be cool and it just takes one level of, of user input out of it and it gets you playing golf in pretty you know, recent conditions a lot quicker. And then let's talk about the data. So one thing that I do get quite a bit when I have friends come over and play on the sim is they start getting data and their minds explode. Their heads start spinning. Usually their eyes pop out and I got to pick them up for them. And I end up being an instructor and kind of explaining data to people. And I love doing that. I mean, like I've said before, I'm a true student of the game. And so I really enjoy that aspect. But I've seen enough folks roll through here who they want to understand the data and like to learn that but it can take some time and it takes time to educate yourself on exactly what it all means. You know, a great example is if you're just simply trying to hit a fade and you hook that sucker far left because you did a double cross, I don't think there are very many golfers out there who truly can say, oh, I can look at that data, I know exactly what happened. If we had some sort of technology built within these simulator softwares, that almost just dumbed it down and summarized the data for us. Where somehow we can say, okay, you were trying to hit a fade here, but this is what the ball did, and here's why. Your club path was this, your face angle was here, your attack angle was incorrect. Whatever it is, it allows you to understand it and go, oh, so that's what I actually need to do to hit a fade. My path, my attack angle, my club head angle all needs to be this, but this is what I came into it as. If you have a camera system set up, you could actually look at it and see why you came into it that way. But if not, you can at least go, oh, I see what I did. I was way too far into out to hit a fade. I need to be more out to in to really come across that ball and get it to spin the opposite direction. Again, it's learning, but it's learning easy. 
right? And then after you do that a bunch, that's all information that's now gonna be in your head so that when you go play golf outside, you're gonna know exactly how you need to set up and what the club needs to do in order for you to hit that shot that you wanna do. We've all seen it, right? There's popular YouTube golfer out there that calls his shots constantly. Every time I see him call his shot, it does something different. I know there's a lot of golfers out there that do that too. I see it in the sim. I'm gonna hit this and it doesn't do it, but they don't know why. This is a feature I think that can help us. Now I see a golf simulator as hands down the very best training aid that you could possibly use in the game of golf. Because what you're able to do is the one thing a lot of golfers don't do enough of, and that is practice. You can certainly go to a sim and have a great time playing golf, completely ignoring the score or what you're doing or whatever. You're just having a good time hitting the ball into the hole, doing it again, 18 holes over. But utilize the time. How can we utilize these wonderful systems to teach every golfer at whatever level they're at? I love golf simulators. I think that it's the best thing that's happened to the game of golf in a considerable amount of time, especially considering how hard it is to get onto the course in a lot of cities. Not to mention if you live somewhere where golf is just simply too hard to get to because it's far away. Maybe you just live really remote. This is a wonderful game and golf simulators are gonna make it so much more accessible. Think Peloton, it's happening. The prices of these setups are going down. It's exactly what the market needs. If you don't have the ability to get one yourself, go find a sim house. About Golf has a great sim house finder on their website. You can locate a sim near you, go check it out. They do contests every single season where they give away money for closest to the pin or uh, they do a round of the par threes, whatever it is. You're able to win some money playing golf and having a great time. You could practice on the various ranges they have. Go on to a course. There is a practice mode on the courses, but you're just stuck to that one shot over and over and over as you're playing around. But it's still tons of fun, something you can't do on the course. Have a great time with the sim golf. Enjoy it. Stop trying to compare things to outside. It's just gonna put you in a bad mindset and it just causes separation that you don't need. Golf's hard enough. Enjoy it for what it is. Enjoy being able to hit off of a flat, nice lie every single time. Maybe you'll be able to shoot your indoor score that you've been trying to shoot outside. You'll teach yourself that you can shoot that score. That means when you go outside, you know mentally, you can absolutely break that number that you want to. Please like, follow, and subscribe. I'm gonna continue talking about everything simulators, how to get more people playing in the game of golf, utilizing simulators, instructing on how do you read the data now since we don't have that AI to tell us. And I simply just love this part of the journey. Learning golf is a great time. Until next time, get out there and play.